Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video is all about my favorite date night makeup look. I know a lot of you guys are probably expecting more of like a dramatic eye or whatnot, but this really is like this right here. This really is like my favorite, either it's a first date or if you're in a relationship, this is like my favorite look, you know? And also in this video, I'm gonna be talking about just like different dating, advice, experiences, what to do, what not to do, um, really just based off of my experience. So it's kind of like a date night, not really a get ready with me, but it's, okay, date night, first date, makeup tutorial, plus dating advice. <laughs> so let's just get started. I'm starting with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I tend to use this when my skin is more on the dry side. Um, it makes it kind of like natural matte. It's not super matte, like the Tarte primer that I love, that I absolutely love. Um, it's just kind of more of a natural look, which is great when my skin is like acting crazy like it is now. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna use Smashbox 4.1 foundation. I do like to use 4.2, I kind of switch between the two. And that's why you'll see me sometimes on Instagram and I'll put 4.1 some days, 4.2. Depends on how warm I wanna be. Ooh, see how this is like a little warmer? See those little friends right there? Many of you guys may not know this, but I was single for a very long time before I met Les. So I feel like when it comes to dating, I feel like when it comes to dating, I've kind of got it like down packed. You know what I mean? I'm setting my foundation with the Tatcha spray. That's probably like two pumps too many, but it's gonna give my skin this like dewy finish. I always tell people like when it comes to going on dates and your makeup and your outfit, just honestly wear what makes you feel comfortable. Wear makeup that makes you feel comfortable. Um, I mean, I always say don't go like too crazy with the black smoky eye because you want them to be able to see you and sometimes when you have like a black smoky eye that covers everything up, but just like wear what you love to wear, you know? And the right guy for you isn't gonna look at your makeup, he'll look past it. That's good advice right there. I went a little bit darker because I think the last time I filmed a YouTube video for you guys, I used tan in the shape tape and it was a little light. So this is tan sand. Dating is like, I think sometimes like, being single is just as hard as being in a relationship, you know? It's hard being single. I feel, I, listen, listen. If anyone knows, it's me because I was single for a long time, dated, I feel like, all the wrong types of people. It's hard. It really is. Obviously, you can, you know, put less concealer on. <laughs> Sometimes I go a little crazy. I'm not doing a heavy eye today, so I'm putting concealer on my eyes because I'm not gonna use a eyeshadow base. I haven't been using the shape tape, so sometimes I forget like how, just how much goes a long way. <laughs> Setting my foundation with the Sasha Buttercup powder, which is like my go-to powder now. I love it, it keeps me nice and matte. It doesn't have a flashback, it's, it's honestly perfect. You guys, like, perfect. This is my Sigma F30 brush. And I am kind of like applying a little bit over the eyes. I'm, I'm not trying to put it over my eyelid, but some of it's getting on, which is completely fine. I used to have friends who were in relationships, but I feel like they weren't in happy relationships and they would give me, honestly, like the worst advice. Don't take advice when it comes to dating with anyone who's in like a bad marriage, a bad relationship, because they'll give you the worst advice. And it's like not always the case, because sometimes it will be the opposite where they'll tell you like, like I did this, don't do it. But for the most part, it's like you get advice from someone who's like happy because they'll give you the best advice. Like right now, when my friends ask me for advice, I feel like, oh shit, I just got look at it. I feel like I give them the best advice, you know? Like I would have friends who'd be like, tone your makeup down. Like you're, it's too much, like it's just too much. And for a second, like I started believing them. I was like, dang. Maybe I do wear too much makeup. Maybe that's why I'm single. I don't wanna say it was jealousy. I don't really know exactly what it was. I haven't dug that deep, but I feel like 
it was something other than me where you know wearing a lot of makeup like you should never change try and change yourself for a date you know like you should just be 100 percent yourself and the right person who's meant for you is gonna love it i promise i think me getting all that bad advice actually helped me i'm gonna bronze up my skin with the dark tan mineralized powder from mac um, I actually haven't been using this. I'm revisiting it. I don't know why I stopped using it. Well, I feel like the Guerlain, I was like, just, that was just my jam, but it's so hard to find now. So I'm gonna use the MAC Mineralized Powder. This adds a lot of warmth to my skin, so it kind of helps balance out the face with the body. My face is always a lot lighter than my body, which is why sometimes you'll see when I apply makeup, it looks a lot darker, but it matches the flow of things, you know? I'm drinking wine, y'all. Before, when I would go on like a first date or even a second date, I would always have like a glass of wine or something <laughs> to relax me because sometimes when I'm around people that I don't know, I get very quiet and it comes across as like <laughs> or standoffish. So I like to have a glass of wine and relax. Obviously, I only recommend that if you're of age. Hello. This is Bobbi Brown Mahogany Brow Powder. Also, you guys, when it comes to like outfits for a first date, well, I always recommend that you go somewhere like a lounge, somewhere where there's music, but it's not too loud to where you can't hear, you know, or dinner in the lounge would be good. Um, and just be comfortable, you know, don't, don't feel like you have to get super dressed up. Don't feel like you have to wear like this, house of CV, bandage dress or whatever, just, just be comfortable, you know, just be, just be you. There was a point where, well, I actually feel like the first couple dates I went on with less, I was wearing jeans. Like I wore jeans and like a cute top and heels, you know, cause that was comfortable for me. I just don't want to ever have to like be on a date and like be shifting around, pulling my skirt down, blah, 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 blah. Oh, also, if it's like a first date, <laughs> This is just my advice. This isn't like, you know, the law when it comes to dating, but if like you don't really know the person, always meet them at the restaurant, wherever you guys are having your first date, don't like let them pick you up. Especially if like you don't know them, because that's how I am. It's like, you're not coming to my house. If I don't know you, like we haven't built that, you are not coming to my mother effing house. My brows are such a mess, you guys. Like, I don't know what happened. I, they're just, one's thicker than the other. I'm gonna put a little bit of the Shape Tape Concealer um, under my brow to kind of clean it up. And I'm just gonna work off the top, y'all. Am I like being too much of like, I feel like a motivational speaker right now, giving you guys advice on dating. I don't know why I feel like that, but I just do. Maybe because I feel like, you know what? Damn it, I have enough experience to give y'all advice. So how about that? A lot of people, especially now that like Les is so involved in like my blogs and he's really supportive of just my, just me. Um, I get a lot of comments like, oh, I want to meet someone like Les. I want to meet, I want to meet him. Not Les, but like somebody they want to meet, you know, that person that's good to them and treats them right. And it's kind of like, it'll happen. You guys just gotta be patient. Sometimes you have to go through like BS, you know? Like a lot of BS to appreciate the person who's supposed to be with you. If that makes sense. I'm not using eyeshadow base today. Typically when I do this look, I don't. I just have a, a color on the lid. Actually you guys, this, okay. So the eyeshadow look I'm about to do, which is only one color and I'm using the naked heat palette which is one of my favorites this is a look i always always do and it always gets like the most um feedback like you guys love when i do just the simple look and really all it is is like a warm eyeshadow in the crease and on the lid it's the same color and lashes that's basically it so i'm gonna put cayenne here all over the lid and the crease and my nails kind of got jacked up I'm using my Sigma E40 brush. I love this brush. I love it. So I'm first starting in the crease, just going back and forth. I love warm colors in the crease. You guys know this. So see how it's adding like a little bit of depth? Like a little bit. It's not too dramatic, but it's not too like natural. 
And I'm also just going to use the same fluffy brush and I'm just kind of like pressing and packing the shadow on the lid. So it looks like just like one color. It's, it's honestly just such a natural look. See how it's just so simple? Like it's really just like the most simplest look. I'm also going to put a little bit of the cayenne under my lash line. I'm just going to smudge it. The Naked Heat Palette is one palette that I would say you have to have. It's, it's so pretty. They just got this one right. Like I would trade like a lot of other palettes for this. You know what I mean? Like if they're like, you can only have a few, what would you choose? Boom, this one for show. Typically I would use Inglot gel liner, but whenever I don't wing out my eyeliner, I just use a liquid eyeliner. Just because it's like, I don't need, I don't want one extra brush to clean, let's just be honest. Let's be honest. This is a Too Faced Candy Johnson liquid eyeliner. This liner is actually somewhat tricky at first. Like you really have to just do small little like lines. Don't ever line your eyes, you guys, like starting from here and then ending here. Do small little like sections. It makes it so much easier. But one of the reasons why I like this liner is because it's super dark. Like it's a really dark black pigment. This is a Maybelline Times Me Baddest Black Mascara. Always, always, always put mascara on before the lashes. Also, you guys, my friend who like would give me like the worst advice about dating, I feel like I was attracting the wrong type of person, the wrong type of guy like before when I was dating. Like I, I would just meet people and I was like, this isn't me, you know? It's just so important to be yourself. Um, and sometimes being yourself comes with time and experience. But like, for instance, I met Les two years before we actually started dating, you know? And when I met him, I was just like, oh, hey, okay, whatever, bye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay, hey, okay, bye. And I was just 100% myself and we always kept in contact. And then eventually I saw him, you know, for who he was. And I was like, wow, I'm ready now. The focus of this look really is my eyes and my lashes, I should say. Um, I'm using the Lily Lashes in Miami. <laughs> I, you can see, I already cut them to, to my eye shape. But I wanted to show you guys like a little trick that I do. These lashes are super curly. So what I do is I hold the end of the lash towards me like this. So the longest, I guess the end of the lash here is facing me. And then I have the curler just like normal and I kind of uncurl the lash. You can see it just straightens them out a little bit. These lashes are super curly. Literally un, just curling it the opposite direction to straighten them out a tiny bit. I love these lashes, but when I first get them sometimes they're a little too curled. So I just uncurl them and honestly they're perfect. When I was younger, I used to do like a smoky eye if I had a date. <laughs> I would do like a black or a blue smoky eye, which I'll still do now, like when I go on dates with Les, but every once in a while, you know, if it's like, if say we're going out, which we never do, but <laughs> every once in a while I'll do like a smoky smoky eye, but for the most part, I just love like this like wispy look of the lashes. I feel like it just brings out my eye color, brings out my eyes. Um, and it's like, you're doing a lot without doing too much. I'm using the Callus Glue. I feel like these lashes look a little thicker than these, which sometimes happens when you uncurl them, but it's fine. I feel like it looks better when it's like not perfect anyway. At least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> See how my lashes are just like, and it's like, obviously my brows are there, but it's like really just lashes. If I would have had like lashes, smoky eye, it would have just been like, I feel like they wouldn't have been able to see me, you know? Like, when you go on a date, it's like you want them to just, your lashes just to pop in. You want them to see into your soul, you know? <laughs> okay, let me stop. I'm gonna highlight my skin with the Bobbi Brown Moon Glow highlight, which is new. I think this is actually also like a limited edition. Ah! It's just like such a pretty gold tone. I'm using my Sigma F42 brush. There's something else I was gonna tell you guys about dating. 
this like tutorial turned into just like how to date 101 really um if you guys are already like established in your business or your career and you go on a date and he doesn't support what you're doing then boom it's just not gonna work i promise because i i heard this a lot especially when i feel like youtube instagram everything was taking off a lot of people were like oh like you'll probably never find a man <laughs> you're too independent you're too this you're too that and really it's like just stick to what you're doing stick to stick to making yourself better and honestly like you'll find the perfect person for yourself that's my advice to you guys. All right, I'm gonna use Plum Blush from Bobbi Brown. I'm like really into the Bobbi Brown blushes lately. I just, they're, they're full of pigment and I just really like them. Ton of pigment, you guys. And I'm applying it kind of higher than I normally, typically I would apply it here, but I'm applying it a little bit higher because I've noticed it'll give me like, it gives like that high cheekbone effect. So it's slightly over the highlighter. And always start on the back of the cheekbone so that you don't get like a ton of color here. No one wants that. This is like my fresh look. Literally, like if I'm doing my makeup, like say I'm just in the mood to do makeup, um, this is the look I always do. Whether I take a picture, film it or not, like this is like my go-to look. Sometimes without even the shadow, I'll just have foundation there. Yeah, that'll just be it. You guys already know it, cork lip liner. This is like the liner for my skin tone that just goes with everything. Always line your lips first too. The only reason, you guys, that I would suggest doing lipstick and gloss over like a, a liquid lipstick is, say you guys go out, you're on a date, you guys go out for drinks and, or dinner even, you eat, you don't wanna have like a liquid lipstick and it separates or the oil from your salad breaks down the pro, I mean, so many things can happen with a liquid lipstick, that's why I'm like, I always like to play it safe with like a lipstick and gloss. This is Bobbi Brown Lilac. I feel my best in pink lipsticks. Like honestly, I, I just love wearing pink lipsticks. I just feel cute, you know? You have to find that color that really just does it for you. And if it's a red, then shit, do red. Just maybe like keep a makeup wipe on you just in case. I actually kind of like this without a gloss. Super fresh. I'm gonna set the lipstick with Kylie Poise K lip gloss. I always gotta double check the lip gloss, or the lip gloss I mean, and the liquid lipsticks have the same like packaging. Thank you guys for watching my date night tutorial. I know it was super simple, but I promise you it's fresh. It's just like, this is like the look, you know, this is my favorite look to do, especially when I go on dates. Um, when I was single, even to now when I'm in a relationship. And um, I just wanna leave you guys with a little word of advice, especially for the single ladies out there. Um, I know it can be discouraging being single, especially if your friends are in relationships or whatnot, but just focus on being the best you that you could be and I promise the right person's gonna come along. I promise, I promise. So comment below, subscribe to my channel, and last but not least, Strat and Slave.